This is the latest version of Pol.DIY running locally on my computer and I'm using Anthropic Cloud Sonnet 3.7 as a large language model through Open Router. As you know, Anthropic has recently introduced Cloud Sonnet 3.7 and this is probably one of the best large language model out there for programming. So in this video, we'll be using the best large language model out there for programming and we'll see how Pol.DIY will perform with Cloud Sonnet 3.7. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. Our goal for this video is to reach 1000 likes. All right, let's start. Let me just guide you first that how you can download and install bold.diy locally on your computer. To download bold.diy simply just open your browser tab and write bold.diy and after that it will just reload this github repository. From here you can simply just copy the url of this github repository from here. Create an empty folder inside your computer and then open that folder inside your terminal and in here just write git clone and then provide that URL that you just copied from there and then simply just press enter. I have already installed bold.diy so I will not install it again but once you press enter it will just clone the repository of bold.diy on your folder. Simply just open this repository and now open this folder inside your terminal again. Now go back to your github repository of bold.diy and then scroll down come to this section which is running the application and then from here simply just copy this prompt from here and then paste that prompt inside your terminal press enter. I have already run this command in my terminal and once you run that next step is to run this second command just copy it from here and then paste that in here and then after that it will just like start downloading packages for poll.diy it usually takes three to four minutes it can totally depend on the speed of your internet connection but this step should complete within just three to four minutes once this step is completed now next step is to run this command to run this poll.diy application now simply just copy this command from here and then paste that in here and then you can see now it will actually run our project run poll.diy locally on this local host url it will provide this url just copy this url and then next step is to open this url inside your chrome browser now bold.diy have suggested to use chrome canary browser you can download and install chrome canary browser from google chrome simply just type chrome canary download and just open this first url then simply just click on download and you can simply just download and install chrome canary browser and after that simply just inside your search bar look for chrome canary and then open this browser in here next step is to just open this local host url inside your chrome canary browser and this is how it will open when you'll open this url for the first time it will not open this api keys section in here so you will just have to click on this reload button and then after it reloads it will start showing all of these different api keys options in here now once you have downloaded and installed bold.diy locally on your computer now next step is to get clots 3.7 api key and in this video we are going to use open router for that open router is a platform for large language models you can simply just come to open router and then sign in using google simply just look for clots sonnet and in here you will find these three different options one is Cloud Sonnet 3.7 self moderated one is Cloud Sonnet 3.7 so you just need to use this Cloud Sonnet 3.7 simply just open that and then in here the most important thing is the pricing so Cloud Sonnet 3.7 is a really expensive model so far so it costs three dollars for per million input tokens and fifteen dollars per million output tokens this is not an ideal model for you if you want to use a cost effective large language model with bold.diy for programming but if you just want to like test it because in this video our goal is to just test the bold.diy functionalities with the best programming model out there so don't worry if you don't want to spend your money on cloud sonnet 3.7 to test so let me just spend my money on cloud sonnet 3.7 for you and see how bold.diy performs with this model so once you're here simply just go to api section and from here you can simply just click on create key and just give it a name and then press on create. I have already created an API key and I'm using it inside bold.diy so I will not just create a new one. So once you have done that, make sure that from this drop down you choose open router and from here you use Anthropic Cloud Sonnet 3.7. After that, now it's time to test and let's see how it performs. Let's just try to create a landing page first and see how it works. Create a landing page for my AI habit tracker app. The landing page should be very professional with a modern design create different sections of landing page like header hero section and other important sections for landing page all right so we have our basic prompt in here i'll just press on enter and see how it creates our landing page so now as you can see speed is quite good it is writing code in a really good speed and that's what we actually expect from cloud sonnet 3.7 so the speed is good so right now it is creating different components right now it is creating this header component after that it will create the other components for our page okay so we have got our first error i'll just press on ask bot and try to 
resolve this first error. All right, the error is still there. I'll try to press on ask bolt once again to fix this error and see how it works now. We still have our terminal error. Apparently this error is related to some of the packages. I'll try to fix that error again. I'll click on ask bot once again. Hopefully it should fix this error this time. If not, then we'll have to create a new project because as you can see, every time I give it a prompt, it is costing us money. So now it is just installing those dependencies. There is a still an error. I'll just click on preview and see if there's anything that it has generated. Nothing yet. All right, let's just click on ask bot again. And by the way, while I'm actually creating this, let's just check out the usage. So we have not created anything yet. We got like several times errors in this basic project. So let me just open the usage of open router and see that how many tokens we have consumed. So inside open router, I'll just go to my activity section in here and inside my usage i can see that so far 0.7 dollars has been spent but when i come back to my project we still don't have a functional project so i'm just trying to run this project again i just run this command npm run dev and whenever i run that command we get this error which is a syntax error on caught syntax error the request module node module Lucid chat okay so there's okay so this is probably actually related to it's a, it's a react error related to this chart okay so i think this is a dependency error so let me just try to click on ask bolt it should install this dependency and then fix this error it's not that actually rocket science to fix this error it's a very basic error if you're using something like cursor or windsurf it would have been very easy and very cheap actually to fix that error but right now we are actually with each command that we're giving with each asking for help to fix this error we're actually spending more money so still preview is not available and what we have right now we have our project we have all of the source code in here and i can see there are different components there is one cta call to action component there is one features component photo section header section hero section and testimonial section i can see like project is set up in here but we are unable to have our preview and inside terminal if i see i don't see any error right now in my terminal right now so it should work apparently okay let's just create a new project and try to create something else this time i'll just click on a, create a task manager app in next.js i want you to create a dashboard where i can add my to do tasks in progress tasks and done tasks it should have a date selection option it should have an option to add a team member so i can assign that task to that team member focus on the functionalities please set up a project and then create this app all right so now let's just give it a command again and see how it works okay so now it has set up an empty project right now as usual by the way if you're wondering how i'm using this speech to text app so this is actually default windows speech to text app you can use that by using your windows key on your keyboard and h key on your keyboard so it will just pop up then simply just click on this button and it will just like come there so you can see this command in here windows plus h okay so we got i will modify an existing file that don't need changing so let me remind please remind me of your original request so i can proceed accordingly oh really okay i'll just copy this and then paste that if you're testing it yourself with clots 3.7 just keep an eye on your usage just do not go bankrupt please run the project and show the preview all right so it is now installing all of these packages hopefully it will run this time okay so it has just finished writing all of the code and it is now showing preview but there's nothing on preview on preview it doesn't show anything this is what it shows please create preview run the project let's just see how it works now. as you can see our cost has jumped so far we have spent around 1.38 in total and 3.7 all right so apparently it is not working i'm trying to run my command as well and but still it will not show me a preview directory slash home slash project i'm trying that but still it is not working let's just give it final try and try to create something else in let's just give it final try and try to create a basic landing page once again and see how it works let it just create a basic landing page okay so this is what it has created it has created this basic astro block and this is a basic landing base so fine yeah okay after so many attempts and after spending like two dollars we got this with one of the best model for writing code i've been following bold.diy for a while now and this was actually a really good passion project but for some reason bold.diy sometimes it works sometimes it just doesn't work i mean sometimes it works really well with a free gemini pro um, api key it works really well and as you know google gemini pro is a really good large language model but today as you saw we tested it with clots on at 3.7 one of the best large language model 
for writing code so it did not work that well with Claude 3.7 if you're wanting to use bold DIY with Claude 3.7 I will not recommend you using it because it will just like cost you too much at the end of the day and you will not be able to create something professional and something that you're actually looking to develop there are some other really good alternatives you can use something like tempo lab or something like data button I know there is a usage limit in free plan but still those kind of tools actually work or maybe you can use client with VS code and use it as your AI code editor. If you are still watching this video, please click on that like button. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe as well. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.